Welcome everybody to today's show. I am Darkness and we are here live from Gary, Indiana. I am here with Big Earn. Big Earn, say what's up to the people. Happy Thursday, Gary, Indiana. Thanks, Daniel ass. Welcome to MTDW. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are on our 10th episode earn hey we have made it we are here we are live we are we are really out here yeah. uh a happy, happy anniversary brother that's what i was gonna say a happy 10th episode uh, hopefully we've got 10 more to come for you uh the streets are hot today uh king says <laughs> hey that's what we're that's what we're trying to uh, hey. Say right now, man. This, this, this episode is going to be a hot one. Tempers are flaring. We are uh, about to get into a really, really hot match. Before we do, uh, Adam Cole is here talking a whole mess of uh, nothing, in my opinion. He's out here uh, trying to drop bombs, saying that he is top shit because he finally beat uh, Thinking With Your Dick Guy earned your most anticipated match of 2022, the Thinking With Your Dick Guy versus Adam Cole trilogy that we got. You know what, that would, uh, I, I, you know what, I usually am down with uh, what Adam Cole said, but that one hurt. I don't want to hear him talk about my dude like that. <laughs> well, he is talking garbage. He is saying that he is the best wrestler here, and he is going to prove it now that he's qualified for the uh, Tropic City Rumble match. And he is going to win that match and challenge the world champion and come out on top for the undisputed Bullet Club. Uh, oh, it looks like he's got somebody here, though. It's, it's Samoa Joe who is saying, are you kidding me? You lost to a TikTok star two Ooh. times in a row. Nobody here sees you as a serious threat. You're nothing but a joke. 
and it looks like Adam's getting in his face, and he says, what, you gonna do something about it? And it looks like we've got a match set up, and it's got That's Adam right. Adam right. Cole and, and Samoa Joe later on in the show tonight. Hey, 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 that's what we do around here. I like that. Okay, I like that too. But uh, hey, like I said, we've got a lot of unfinished business here in MTDW. Last week, we had a tag match between the Public Enemies and the Euro Alliance that ended in anarchy between uh, four of the tag teams that we've gotten here when the Young Bucks and Red Dragon also got involved in the fight at the end. Uh, so we are starting to show off hot with the Young Bucks and Red Dragon reigniting their rivalry, going at it again. Uh, I said reigniting this rivalry, or this rivalry never really stopped to begin. Yeah, it's, it's never slowed down, and as these guys uh, yeah, it's, it's never definitely have a long history, and this has been going on for a while, so um, they know each other's weaknesses, strengths, so hey, they're both in that tag team, they're both in that championship match, so let's see what they can do tonight. Let's, let's do some damage to each other. Let's, let's hurt each other. Let, let's do some damage to each other. Hey, I'm going to get the predictions ready, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think is going to win the opening match of MTDW tonight? We have got a non-title match. Uh, the Young Bucks won this, the last match that they had for the titles. Will uh, Red Dragon be able to get their win back? I don't know if said that. I probably should not uh, be doing any kind of betting tonight. So I'm thinking I'm going to chill. <laughs> the following contest is a tornado tag team match on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 443 pounds. The Tag Team Champions, the Mega Bucks. Those belts looking nice on the Young Bucks. King says, MTDW, the new powerhouse in wrestling. Absolutely. And how can you Absolutely. not say that with action like this every time? Ern, what do you think about the Young Bucks coming out as the new champions of MTDW? Well, you know, um, <laughs> it was definitely a surprise. Uh, but hey, they earned it, and you know, let's. The question is, how long will they be able to hold on to these belts? That is a good question. It's proving very hard to hold on to these tag belts. Red Dragon couldn't even get a single defense earned. No, not even one defense. So uh, I'm sure they're pissed off when they come down to the ring. Coming back down, these two have been, these two teams have been killing each other for the past few weeks, Ernie. Yeah, this has been going nonstop, back and forth, back and forth, nonstop, man. You know what? I, I feel like uh, at Tropical City Rumble is going to all come to a head. And I think somebody's going to stand in the dust, but I don't know if it's going to be these two teams in the ring right now. It's, it's, it's something, it's something. It's very interesting, like you said, now that there's two other teams in the mix, seemingly. Um, everybody was just trying to get a piece of each other last week. Yeah, it was uh, it was absolute pandemonium out there. But I tell you this much: it's good to see that there's so many wrestlers out here that's that's hungry for these titles. That is true. We've got a real hot tag division here at MTDW. The best in the world. The best in the world. You heard it here first. As mentioned before, the belt's not on the line in this match, but uh, I would say a lot of uh, pride on the line in this matchup, especially yeah, this when... Is it, a, yeah, this is a softening up, getting them softening up, and uh, this is a pride match, I believe. Yes. Both these teams definitely don't want to lose to the other. Oh, Lord, and Kyle going right at Matt. Oh, absolutely, going right at him. Bobby with nice some, kick. Yes, very nice kick. 
That was a nasty German. Oh, and that catch suplex by Bobby Fish on the Nick. Oh, followed Ooh. by a nasty knee. Nasty. He didn't even have his hands up to block that or nothing. That was right in the mouth. Ooh. Oh. I, I like the way he caught that leg. The Young Bucks oh. in control right now. Absolutely. Red Dragon, but uh, okay, here we go. Bobby oh. Fish looks like he's taking control of his eye. Yeah. Uh-oh, Kyle O'Reilly. Nice German goes into the cover. Ooh. Very quickly gets out of that urn. Nice one count. Got to keep him on his feet right there. Got to keep him on his feet. He did. He did. Make sure, guys, you still have time to vote who is going to win the Young Bucks or uh, Red Dragon. Make sure to get your votes in. A top rope Ooh. moonsault. Springboard nice moonsault by Matt, Nick Jackson. Holy smokes. I think Jackson with a nice combo. This guy, I believe to be the better uh, Young Buck out of the two, just my personal opinion. Proving it tonight. Absolutely. Just crazy. Uh-oh. Oh. Kyle coming back with a great lariat. Oh my lord. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Almost took his head off. Fantastic. Another capture suplex by, oh lord. Ooh. He, did he miss that MT? I think he did. I was trying to figure that out as well. I saw exactly what you saw, Ern. Kyle O'Reilly in trouble, and Nick Jackson is just yanking on Bobby Fish's arm. Man, Nine, no Northern Light suplex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Cover. 450 splashes. Ooh. Countered. Bobby Fish just in time, breaking the wow. count. Goodness gracious. Bobby Fish just countered his move and he saved the count. The heel hook is applied onto Matt Jackson and Nick breaks it up. Nice. Both teams are paying attention to their, their teammate and them to breaking up counts. This is a great teammate. Oh, here we go. He breaks up the count because I think I think uh, Bobby Fish is in trouble. Another tournament. Oh, excuse me, I said jump. I meant no light. Sorry. Right to the face. Uh oh. Uh oh. That could be it. Oh. 2.7. That was close. Oh. Oh man. That might have been out. Uh oh. He might tap. He might tap. Man. He saved the match. He definitely saved the match. Oh. The sharpshooter's in. Oh man, this might be it for Red Dragon. Oh. Wow. That's match. The Bucks answered the call. What a match. Here are your winners. You put a counter to 100 with that kid. Good gracious. It is out of control here, MP.
what is happening. This <laughs> this match at the pay per view is going to be unbelievable. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Let them fight it out. Let them fight it out. I was muted for that whole thing, Ern. The whole thing. I was muted for the whole thing. I was saying, goodness gracious. <laughs> I was saying, at Tropic City Rumble, it has been announced that a tag team t a match between those four teams, uh, the public enemies, the Euro Alliance, uh, the Young Bucks, and... Uh, who was the last team earned? Red Dragon Red will Dragon, be yes. taking part in a four-way ladder match for the tag belts. And next week's show, four of the participants of each team will be participating in a four-way match, and then the rest of the members will be participating in a four-way the week after. So we're already setting up matches two weeks down the road, and this is crazy. This shit is going to be fantastic. It's what, it, it's, what, it's what needs to happen because all these fights and people getting jumped are getting out of control around here. It's crazy. They hate each other. They just hate each other. All these teams hate each other. This is definitive. This is what needs to happen. But here's my thing. I'm seeing a new energy with uh, Keith Lee and Swerve. So, man, this guy, the villain that, that we saw uh, appear last week, I, I'm, he, he has lit something, a fire under these guys. And they're on a different level now. He is, and he has. You are absolutely right. He has. Congratulations to everybody that voted for the Young Bucks. He has lit a fire under Swerve, under Lee, and under Ricochet, who uh, Ricochet turning over a completely new leaf. Uh, I, I have seen Swerve act like, similar to this in the past. Never have I seen Lee or or Ricochet act like this in, in the past. This is this is very new for me. Crazy. Well, I'm telling you, uh, this guy, this mysterious guy who goes by the villain. We have to we, we have to take a, a, a clearer look at him and see see what kind of control he has over these guys because they're on they're on a totally different level. All right, guys, and we are going up to our next match. Our first time we will be seeing the open weight champion uh, since being attacked by uh, Ricochet for the past two weeks. Earn craziness. So he will be competing in competition tonight against Andrade. I will get the predictions ready. If I'm not mistaken, this is um this is Malachi's first defense too, right? This is not a defense, but this is just his first match. Uh, since okay. The show, since the paper. Okay. Or since the dark, premium dark event. Excuse me. Okay. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 259 pounds, Andre Day. Andrade looking to pick up his first W, still uh, winless in MTDW against both of his opponents that he's faced. Well, <laughs> this is probably the wrong guy you want to try to get your first victory against. That is true. Malachi has just been unstoppable since uh winning this title before then this man has only yeah. lost one match and that was his match to uh Hiromu for the uh to crown the inaugural open weight champion absolutely and he uh he called the shot he said what he'd do what he did and he got the belt so hey he's the top of the mountain you gotta climb up there and try to take him off now that he is he's gonna try tonight Taking on Drawdy's Halloween mask. Prepping his 
action, Los Engranables de Japón, one of the original founding members of the group back in Mexico with his brother Rouge. Oh boy, and he and this man have a history together. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> and his opponent from Amsterdam, Netherlands, weighing in at 266 pounds, the men's hybrid champion, Malenko Black. Malachi Black coming in the ring, looking very, very intimidating. Um, man. Malachi Black looking like a champion. This title fits him very well. Yeah, it does. This was what he wanted going into his match with the Romu. He did not tell a single lie. He said if he hit a second black mask, it would be over. And that is exactly what ended up happening, right? Yep, yeah, it was definitely lights out. Scary. Every time this man has an entrance here, so you just have to take it all in. So intimidating. Will Andrade pull a miracle tonight on the open weight champion who already has enough to deal with. As it's been announced, he will be defending his open weight championship at Tropic City Rumble against Ricochet in two weeks. Ricochet, Andrade, let's go. And already going right after the legs. Oh! Malachi not wasting any time. Right after that leg. That dragon screw leg whip. Yep, and now to the back. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Going to the top rope. No! Is he going oh, for a crazy. stop? Oh, a stop oh. right to the lower section of Andrade, who has had no oh. offense. The Cabrada! Earn! Jeez wow. Louise! Have we, have we awoken a sleeping giant? He was already dominant before. He is absolutely unbeatable right now, looks like. Oh, Andrade. Nice. Andrade finally able to get some offense. It, it was, this was looking bad for a second, Earn. Yeah, absolutely it was. Uh, oh, oh my God. MT, he was taking a beating. He really was. Make sure to get your votes in, guys. You still have time. Who do you think is going to win, Andrade or Malachi? Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Malachi planted face first onto the mat. Andrade going Ooh. right up. Uh-oh. 450 hits the Ooh. mark. Hit it. Malachi's in trouble, Earn. Going yes, for the is. cover. One, two. Whoa. Very close, Malachi almost getting pinned. That was very close to being a three count. Uh-oh. Malachi, uh-oh, Jesus! Andrade! Oh. And just slides underneath the ring. He's not playing anymore, Ern. No, he's not. Um, apparently he heard us talking about when getting his ass kicked. I think so, I might. we might have been worried for nothing. Uh-oh, yeah. that was blocked him twice, goes right back to the leg, and now it's hurting. You saw how he was holding it? Yeah. I'm, oh, I, if I was Malachi, I wouldn't be stunting like that. Oh, and no. he stops Malachi, or he stops uh, Andrade, excuse me, and goes right after the leg again. Nice. Andrade better grab him to those ropes. He's trying, but he can't reach. Pushes oh. him off him instead. Where is Andrade, Andrade going? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Malachi. Right in the crosshairs. Oh. Hits the flip Pele kick right to Malachi. And he's going to go for the cover. Yes, he will. One, two. Oh, man. Oh, that's a quick kick out after two. The setup for the hammerlock DDT. I think he's going to go for it, Earn. I think so, too. 
There it is. Boom! That could be it for Malachi. This might be a wrap. One, two, his first win. Oh, my God. 2.9. Andrade furious. Springboard. Moonsault connects. That One, two. <laughs> and Malachi wow. still will not stay down. This At this point, crazy. what do you got to do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Malachi is able to get out of it. Oh, goes back to the leg again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yup. Dragon screw leg whip. Man, what a What's technician. He, what's he going? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Black mask! Oh, sweet Lord, baby Jesus. It's... Oh, uh, rap! Oh, man. Whoa, that was close. Malachi uh, can't get it done. Andrade kicks out at two. Oh! Uh-oh. He's going to try and submit him. There's been a lot of damage done to that leg, Ern. Yeah, the good thing he was close to this rope because he was almost in trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, my good. Oh, oh. oh. Jesus. Oh, that's terrible. Goodness, where's he going? Is he gonna like, stop him again? You think so? I think so. Oh, and he oh landed on his knees. Oh man, uh oh. Neck breaker. <laughs> oh, kicks oh, him right back right down. Man, another neck breaker. Andrade in control right now. He might be picking up his Andrade first dud against the champion. Yeah, he's in control right now. Oh, misses. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Cover! One, two! Jesus, Andrade! Wow. This crowd is whipped into a frenzy. This crowd is for nuts. Oh, the dragon. He's got it in deep. He does. Is he going to be able to get out of it or no? Can he get out? Can he escape? No. Oh, no. he can't, but he doesn't. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. More than light suplex into the bridge. Uh oh, a second one. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Rope break. His foot were under the ropes, Ern. His foot was on the ropes. Good gracious. What a match. Great match so far. Another hammerlock attempt is reversed. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Oh no, knee to the, oh! oh! Knee to the shoulder and then again to the back. Oh, Andrade. Uh oh, uh -oh. throws Malachi into the corner. These two have always had fantastic matches. And they're keeping it going today. Uh -oh. this, this is what happens when you get guys who, who wrestle each other before and know their ins and outs. So this is fantastic. Oh, it is. One. Two, oh! Oh, Malachi Great kicking out at up. one. Malachi has definitely shown why he is champion. He really is. Andrade does not want to give him this dub. No, he does not. Or Andrade wants to get this dub, excuse me. Malachi does not want to give him this dub. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus! That has got to be it! If That's he it. kicks out of a third one... One! Two! Three, holy smokes, Ernest, three black masses to put him away. Jackie, how are you doing? Goodness gracious. Good Lord. He just about killed this man. <laughs> Andrade <laughs> took three black masses to the face. That last one, he kicked him so hard, he knocked himself off balance. He oh, off here the is your winner, Malenko. Holy smokes. Oh, no! Here comes Ricochet! Oh, my goodness! Jesus, backstabber! Of course! Of course, of all the moves, the freaking backstabber! The backstabber. Oh, my God, and uh -oh. now... Here we go. Jesus! Ricochet is getting kicked in the face! These two are fighting! Oh! Straight punch to the head! DDT! <laughs> Ern Malachi's just been through too much! Oh my God. Malachi is still dominating. Oh! Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Malachi, Jesus, with a kick to the face. Malachi still sends Ricochet away. Holy smokes. Craziness. Craziness. The red to the red. Oh, my Lord. Ricochet, maybe he is second guessing what he should have done now. Man, this is the type of guy he's gonna have to face next week, Ern. Or I'm sorry, in two weeks, Ern. Ricochet is going to have to face a Malachi that is just on a different level right now. He, he is on a different level. He is on. He, I think he is more focused than he's been in his whole career. He's especially focused on kicking Ricochet inside the head. <laughs> I'm doing all right, Jackie. Yeah, I did hear about Logan Paul uh, signing with WWE. That was uh, that was pretty interesting. I was saying that they were probably I was saying that they would probably sign him and his brother at WrestleMania just because of how the reaction that he got at Mania afterwards and the reaction that his brother was getting during the uh, pre-show uh, thing that they normally do. I was thinking that they were probably going to put him as a tag team or something. So I feel like Jake Paul. Don't be surprised if Jake Paul gets signed too. I feel like that's gonna happen. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah, I feel like Jake Paul's gonna get signed too. It doesn't matter to me either way. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Up next, guys, we have got Adam Cole and Samoa Joe. Now, earlier, Samoa Joe basically calling Adam Cole a pussy, uh, saying that he hates shit. Uh, so we are going to get a match between these two. Um, I can't say Samoa Joe was wrong in what he said earlier, though. Or, to be honest. No, no, actually, uh, thinking what you did, guy, uh, put, put in Adam Cole's ass for two matches. And he's a TikTok so, star, so that's not. He's a TikTok star. star. And, uh, Samoa Joe's last loss, if I'm not mistaken, became, came from the hands of Will Ospreay. So, uh, you know, when he got eliminated from that, uh, the four way. So, I mean, Samoa Joe's been doing work compared to what Adam Cole's been doing. But we'll, we'll see what Adam Cole does tonight. Let's see how much he can back him all that time. Dunk, thank you for the five months of subbing to me, bro. I appreciate that so much, man. Um, before we get to the match, we have uh, Kenny Omega and Abushi here. Now, if you remember, last week, uh, AJ Styles came up to them with a proposition from management saying that if all three agreed, they could enter a triple threat match for a number one contender. Uh, for the world championship at Triple uh, at a uh, Tropic Tropic City Rumble, uh, the Golden Lovers said they would talk about it. So we're here right now with Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi. Kota Ibushi with and and AJ Styles. Kota Ibushi is here right now. He's saying uh, Kenny and him uh, have still been hashing it out. Uh, it's a big it's a big decision because you know uh, we do know that in the spirit of competition that we would have to fight each other we just didn't know if we would have to be so soon uh, so we are still talking about oh Kenny just stepping in and saying we'll do it oh uh, okay hey okay. all right and now he's walking away okay all right I did not a expect that AJ happen. has a big grin on his face and Abushi is just stepping up to him. He says, I know what you're trying to do. Next week, me and you are having a match together. So next week on MTDW, in addition to the four-way, we also have a match between Kota Abushi and AJ Styles for the first time, Ern. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that should be interesting. Goodness gracious. But let's get to this next fight, guys. We have got Adam Cole going up against Samoa Joe. Yeah, we're doing a watch party uh, for Money in the Bank on Saturday for anybody that's in here. Yeah, Jack, we are. Adam 
Adam Cole. Having a very rocky start in his MTDW career. Losing to a TikTok star, Ernest, two times. Uh, kind of redeeming himself in a two out of three falls bat fight. Decisively winning two falls to none. Uh, but I the laughing... Won. I was going to say, but the laughing stock of MTDW by losing to this guy twice in the first place. Absolutely. <laughs> and Samoa Joe trying to make that point crystal clear for Adam if he didn't know. Oh yeah, he pretty much just told him, hey, you a bitch. Cole said, or Adam Cole losing to Dick Guy pisses Joe off so much, but uh, he ain't happy right now, it looks like. <laughs> Not at all. Hey, I will say that the Nation of Violence has uh, bounced back since that loss from the UA. They have been doing pretty well since then. Yeah. Samoa Joe and Adam Cole, both uh, participants in the Tropic City Rumble match. Now, the Tropic City Rumble match rules are as follows. There is uh, no disqualifications, falls count anywhere, um, pinfalls and submissions uh, anywhere can happen. It is a rumble, and it is an elimination match. So we will keep the match going until there is only one person left in the match, and we will have eight competitors in that match. Uh, it's just going to be crazy. Yes, and... Uh We'll finally get a chance to get a look at this this masked man we don't know of. I'm hoping so. Yes, Let's that is gets the match. Yes, as Ernest broke the news just now, the mad villain, the the leader of the public enemies group, uh, and the reason why Ricochet and uh, Keith Lee and Swerve have turned, uh, he will be making his debut in the Tropic City Rumble match uh, at Tropic City Rumble. Can't wait to see that. That's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. Also, some more news pertaining to the Tropic City Rumble match. Our first in MTDW history. Uh, we will have two surprise entrants in that match as well. Six have been named already, so two will just be surprise entrants, and they will be yeah. debuts to the company. Ooh. Yeah. That oh. Cool. A nice stiff kick to the face. Adam Cole is actually giving it to Jesus. What a combination by Cole. Good gracious. I like the way, oh! oh. He just cracked his back right on the apron. Good Lord, I needed that a couple days ago. <laughs> Dunk said Cole's theme is annoying, but, <laughs> but catchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Cole is in control of Joe right now. I think he took what Joe uh, said to heart. Oh! Super kick! One! Two! Man! Wow, that came out of nowhere. Holy smokes, Ern. Good Lord, Joe. He almost kicked your damn face off. Holy smokes! Oh. And Joe is pissed. Yeah, he's really mad now. Uh oh, what's. Uh oh. Right to the turnbuckle. Is he gonna go for it? I thought he was going for the. Uh, oh, Panama Sunrise, but Joe, I think, I got out of it. it. Oh no, Joe had different plans. Oh uh -oh. yeah. Just like. What? Just like a sack of potatoes, man. Ragdoll. He just ragdoll. Just like he was nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh and that nice twist to the leg right there. Good job by Adam Cole, you know, keeping the big man off of his feet. Oh my goodness. Saito suplex drops Joe right on his head, and he's got him in a dragon sleeper. Wow. But dra lucky. I was going to say, Joe's leg right next to the ropes. 
What is what has he got in mind? He got him up for an Ushigaroshi? How? Oh my lord. Where is he going? What has he got in mind? Oh! The splash misses. The splash missed by a country mile, Aaron. It missed by a whole bunch. He wasn't even close on that. Oh lord. Cole in the corner, going to the top. Oh my god, the muscle buster! This is the first time Joe has hit it in MTDW! Oh no, yeah, that might be it. That might be a wrap. Two! Jesus. Cole kicks out at two. Good lord. I do very much enjoy that move, MT. I love the muscle buster. It is a nice looking move. I can't lie either. Oh! Goes for the jab, misses. Cole, uh oh. Uh oh. I like that DDT. I like that. I like that technique. I like that technique. That was nice. That was clean. That was clean. Another super. Jesus. That's two super kicks. Another one. One. Two. Woo, Damn it. Go. Cole is so close, Ern. He almost kicked some of that fat off your chin. Better get up. You better cut it out. <laughs> he's going for it again. I think he's going again for the Panama Sunrise. Again, Joe gets out. Do you see? He got out again. Yeah, he got you... out again. Oh! Ooh. Emerald Flosion dropped right on his head. If you look at the side of Joe's face, it's a little bit bruised up from all the punches. Oh! Yeah, it is. Absolutely it is. He's trying to get him. Adam was trying to go for another DDT, but it was stopped. Oh, uh -oh. shit. Another! Ooh. Whoa, Emerald Flosion. That might be one. It. Adam Cole kicked out at one earned. He kicked out at one. I don't know what I was talking about. I was mistaken. Oh, no! The Kokina Clutch! Oh, jeez. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Call it. That's call it. it. Call it. He's, a, he's asleep. He's asleep. That's he's it. Asleep. He's asleep. Burn, he's asleep. Night, night, Adam Cole. Oh, okay. He's awake. Oh. He's awake. He's awake. Okay. Okay. That was close. Holy I thought that was it. Ooh. Ooh. Out of Golly, if he puts him in another chokehold again, it's a wrap. Oh boy. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. He's going again. Oh lord, that's it. Oh my god. He's too big to be choking him like that. That's it. Adam's about to tap out. Adam's about to tap out. Golly. Joe proving his point. What is Joe whispering in his ear right now? Oh, that was. <laughs> I think, was I think what he just said was, "Use a bitch." I think that's what he said. Use a bitch. Use a kick bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, two good super kicks, but he just couldn't get him. MT, you're right. I heard Riley's voice from the Boondocks. He said, "Bitch." Face all bruised up, don't matter. Don't matter. Don't care. Just laughing. <laughs> this ain't nothing to a G like Joe. No. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. See you later, Adam Cole. Ooh. Holy smokes. Poor man. Yeah, maybe Adam Cole and Ricochet should have a last man standing match. <laughs> Adam Cole going to the back. He has got some things to think about. He has got things to work on. Because uh, he's going into this match and he's not a favorite. Right now, I would say two of the most uh, two of the most imposing figures going into this match right now are Walter and Samoa Joe. And uh, the bit uh, that guy that was backstage last week, he seems to be the wild card. With the one that had the villain on the back of his jersey, he seems to be a wild card because I don't know what his deal is. We know absolutely nothing about him. We just know that uh, he has changed the attitude of three wrestlers that have been wrestling for a long time. He really has, and I don't know how you do that. I don't know what you have to say to him or what, but goodness gracious. I don't know. Maybe he's got it in with Big Tony. Big Tony not collecting a lot of earnings tonight. No. I, I told Tony. I was like, I'm done tonight. I ain't messing around. We have got some news pertaining to next week. Another match that is added to the lineup. A rematch from Night Vice. We have got Daniel Bryanson. Or, I'm sorry. Brian Danielson, excuse me. Who will be going in a rematch up against Tetsuya Naito from their match at Night Vice. Now, if you remember that match, 
Brian Danielson went up against Naito after he was trying to defend the honor of Los Ingranables Day opponent after Danielson took out Shingo Takagi. And Danielson lost. So he is going to be trying to get his win back against Naito. Also, on the go home show to Tropical City Rumble, it will be Hangman Page versus CM Punk for the first time in MTDW. Uh, that wow. match will be on that show as well. And I've also been told in terms of that four-way match for the Intercontinental Championship that this match has now been turned into an elimination match as well. Oh, my goodness. It can't get any much better than MTV. Tropical City right Rumble, man. This is going to be a big... The pay-per-views show the hell out, Ern. This is, yeah. this is what we go here for. The pay-per-view is going to sell the hell out. It's, it's, it's shaping into a, to a bomb-ass show. Yeah, I'm saying. Up next, we have got uh, Kazuchika Okada coming back into the ring after a while, and he will be fighting uh, Jinsei Shinzaki, one half of the tag team in the Black Lotus, or uh, the Order of the Black Lotus. So let's get to this match, guys. I do enjoy the name of that match from the Order of the Black Lotus. I like the Order of the Order of the Black Lotus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 238 pounds. Okada, last having a match, I would say three weeks ago on the show. Mm -hmm. Not having a very prominent role in any type of title picture. Kind of been taking a back seat, but he's ready to get back in it. Yeah, I hope so, because, uh, you know, you and I both are looking forward to seeing uh, him and more action for being in some robberies, maybe getting in some... Uh, couples to get a damn title shot. So he hasn't really done much right now around here lately. The Rainmaker. No, he's normally had a prominent role in every company he's been in, uh, notably New Japan, but uh, we'll see if he can get back on track. I do like that robe. That robe is nice. That robe is nice. I guess MTDW is paying somebody some money. <laughs> With the night off, he decided to go at it alone against the Rainmaker. Very interesting to see what uh, uh, Jin Jinsei will be able to do. Uh, with this urn, we would like to make a... Uh, actually, oh, hold on a second. I was told not to make that announcement again. I, I apologize to everybody. I'm getting people's hopes up. I'm getting people's hopes up. Dunk says, snap, legends in the fold. Absolutely. You know we had to do it. We had to do it here at MTDW. Your boys ain't playing. That's right. Take your time getting in the ring. Make everybody wait. Make them ask in it. Hey. Order of the Black Lotus. The five legends in wrestling getting together we've got Jinsei Shinzaki, Hayabusa, Shibata, Minoru Suzuki, Takeshi Sugira all together just to to be a part and to show everybody in MTTW that pure 
that pure level of wrestling. Absolutely. That strong style, that, that King's Road style. Okada, Shinsaki. Let's go. Shinsaki misses off the bow. Oh! Gets Okada right off the come up, and he's going right for the corner. Yeah. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. Ern, you want to get next, uh, closer to the mic? Oh, sorry. Thank you, good. Shinsaki goes right into the corner. Oh, oh and a reversal. Oh, punch to the face. Oh, and a kick to the gut. Okada's back in control. Nice backbreaker. Nice backbreaker by Okada. Where's he? He will not. No, no way. Not. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. He's asking him to get up. He's got more sense. His mind. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got more sense than that. <laughs> <laughs> Shinsaki goes over the top rope, and Okada follows. Okay, Okada, that's what we're doing today. Oh! My goodness. Oh, nerve hold. He just ran at him like he was a freight trainer. Yeah, he did. He just chopped him right in the face. That was kind of disrespectful. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okada on the outside waiting. He does have a 20 count. This is MTDW. We do not do a traditional 10 count. He's got oh, a 20 count here. here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's this? Uh-oh. Oh! Planted face first. Okada in a lot of trouble. Uh oh. Working the legs. Dragon screw leg whip. Uh oh. Whips oh. the leg against the mat. That does a lot of damage to the knee there, MT. It does. I liked how Jinsei tried to go right back at Okada, but Okada was ready. Nice elbow Ooh. drop. That nice was Okada. beautiful. And then followed by a leg. He just sits on him. That was disrespectful. That's what that's what that's straight this way do it again. Okay. Yeah, just don't do it. Do it twice. Disrespectful twice. One more time. Oh gee. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? This man Okada. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh! Ooh! Overhand shot. Oh no. The neck breaker. Jesus. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okada going after the cover. One, two. And just like that, Shinza Shinzaki is already in a lot of trouble, Aaron. Yeah, he is. He can't, he can't take too much more offense. Holy smokes. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going for the Rainmaker. Oh, man. Ooh. He gets a close line of his own. What a lariat by Shinzaki. It's been a long time since I seen him get taken over the top rope with a lariat. That was fantastic. What a way. And now he's playing to the crowd. Okada. Oh, eat shit. Oh, okay. Damn. To read the room when you see something like that. You're gonna be careful. <laughs> that is the uh, experience of Shinsaki right there to just move out of the way so casually too, Ern. Exactly, because Okada experienced that map when he jumped through their ropes. <laughs> Okada able to get up. Uh oh. Yep. Uh -oh. Hey. Uh -oh. Ow, that hurt a little bit. That did hurt. That did hurt. Uh oh. Not look uh -oh. And now Okada's just talking shit in the ring. Yeah. Shintaki's still down. Oh, God. Yeah. He's just pointing at me like, this is what happens. Oh, he might be playing possum. He might be playing possum. Might be. Uh-oh. Woo! Oh. Woo! Goodness gracious. Wow, he just threw him right across the mat. I love that. I love that. I love when uh, we get so much violence in this MTDW. Oh, boy. Shinzaki shouldn't be doing this. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. oh, oh. oh, my God. So much strikes that he just fell to the ground. Oh, no. Uh oh, here it is. Shinzaki better do something. Oh, no. Rainmaker! Rainmaker! That's it. That's it. One, two! Jesus, that's, that's it. all it took! God damn it! Kazuchika Okada, ladies and gentlemen! 
Once again, I guess he heard us saying that he hasn't been doing anything lately. <laughs> what in the hell? One Rainmaker earned. That's all it took. <laughs> Did you see the way he closed on him? Do you think he needed another one of those? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I was going to throw in the towel if he did it again. Oh, oh my god. Kazuchika oh. Okada, and he doesn't even look impressed. Look at him. No. Look at him. Look at him. What in the world? This is crazy. Wow. Wow. Okada. He's probably like walking around the ring. He's like, how come my name stop being mentioned? All the time. <laughs> Kazuchika Okada, ladies and gentlemen. Just another win for the Rainmaker. I can't believe it. This guy is unstoppable. If he is, if he's going for that world title, then there's gonna be some people in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Goodness gracious. Uh oh, this is interesting. Uh, Katsuyori Shibata is backstage right now. Uh, he says Okada. The last time I was in the ring with you. My career was over. I didn't think I would ever come back to the sport that I loved. I took time off. I trained some of the best the future had. But now I'm back. And I'm here again to challenge you, even if it's not for a title, at a, for a match at Tropic City Rumble. Whoa! Whoa. We are getting Okada and... Shibata at Tropic City Rumble. Oh my God, this is a dream rematch if I have ever seen one. Holy smokes. This show is shaping up to be maybe one of the best pay-per-views that's ever been done. Oh my God, this, I, I agree, I agree. This is huge. Katsuyori Shibata versus Kazuchika Okada and it's, Okada is on his A game right now. After winning the match that he just, at the way he won it just now, Aaron, I don't know. Good Lord. Hey, I tell you this much. I want to see it. I want to see it. I definitely do. Guys, we are nearing the end of our show. We are on our main event of tonight's card. We have the number one contender to the world title, Will Ospreay, going up against Minoru Suzuki. Will Ospreay has just been talking mad shit. Uh, but he has been backing it up every time, Ern. Uh, he has backed up every single word he said. Every single word. He said that he would show Samoa Joe and the, uh, uh, the Nation of Violence what was up. And they killed them in that eight-man elimination tag match. He eliminated almost every single person himself, except for one person. Yeah. He got rid of yeah. everybody. He Absolutely. has been undefeated, except for he is he's only I, I'm excuse me, he's only lost one match, and he is except for that, he has been undefeated in this company. He has been just on a roll. This man has been phenomenal. Well, he, he's on a he's on a collision course with the champion, so I mean, <laughs> in my opinion, the champion's got like two more weeks before Osprey comes to um, claim his title. Oh, let's see if he can make it happen. Max, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Make sure to go and check out Max's and Dunk's channel. One fall, making his way to the ring, representing the United Kingdom from London, England. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Will Oxley. A just great wrestler would be an understatement to call Will Osprey this. This man calls himself Billy Goat. You would be hard pressed to say that he isn't possibly one of the greatest of his generation. Yeah, absolutely. You, uh, to say that he's great, it's not giving him enough credit. The things that this young man can do in the ring is amazing. It is wild. And he is at such a young age, only 28 years old. Wow. Going to be going up against another member of the Black Lotus, Order of the Black Lotus. Oh, 
And his opponent, representing the circle from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds, Madman Suzuki. Noro Suzuki. This man coming off of a tough loss against Adam Page yeah. at Night Vice. Humiliated, I would say. I don't think that's yeah. an understatement. I, he was straight up just throttled at that show. No, that would not be an understatement. But um, <laughs> to be honest, I can honestly see more of the same in this match. I think uh, Will, Will Ospreay is a, a class above this guy. I, I don't think I don't think he stands a chance in this match. going for a kick right off the bat. Oh! oh and Suzuki's Suzuki. taking it to the ground. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Palm strikes! Goodness gracious! Round and pound. And dunk with the Kaze Ninare. We appreciate you. Uh-oh. Nice reversal. Oh! Oh! And an Oz cutter to start the match off! Goodness gracious! Wow. Holy smokes! Minoru Suzuki in a lot of trouble. Good out Lord. Oh, what is he doing? What is... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Holy <laughs> smokes, Ern. Did you see that? I did. The murder grandpa is mad about it, too. Oh, he's... Oh, Jesus Christ. He was choking him. He was choking he him. He was just straight up choking Osprey. Oh, stiff kicks to the midsection. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh! Jesus! Oh, working the arm of Osprey. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. Yeah, that's what happens when you power bomb somebody his age over the damn. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Let's just say I understand his anger. Oh, oh! Back first onto the apron. Goodness gracious. That is crazy. That was absolutely crazy. And he's going right into the ring. 4.7K has been voted on Osprey. Oh. A lot of faith in Osprey tonight from the MTDW faithful. What is this? Stun Dog Millionaire. Oh my Lord. Going for the cover. One, two. Jesus Christ. No. Earned. That was so close. That empty, that was close. Holy smokes. Oh my lord. 2K put on Suzuki. Jesus! A fourth of a, a inward 450. Two. Holy smokes! Osprey is getting so close! What in the world? Oh wow. Oh. Oh, nice reversal. Uh -oh. Back and forth, Earn. Oh. oh, I love the reversals. What is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Osprey's uh -oh. got to get down. Oh! Ah, shit. He did get down. <laughs> uh, I don't Look know why. <laughs> I'm always seeing people getting thrown over the top rope. I don't know why I like it so much. <laughs> Look at Suzuki. Oh! Kick to the chest. Uh-oh, Suzuki kicks Osprey in the stomach. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus! Good lord, this is like Bruce Lee chop. Oh my lord, and he finishes off the strikes with the fireman's oh. carry. Oh, oh. Just getting punched in the face, goodness gracious. Wow. Osprey getting picked up. Oh, Suzuki. oh! I was just about to say Suzuki has control of this match. I... Oh, oh! Goes for the running, shooting star press, but gets blocked. Uh-oh. Oh lord. 
What is he doing? Just wrenching on the arm of Osprey. He, this is the second time he's worked on his arm in the yeah. match. This might. We should keep, uh, yeah, we should keep an eye on that arm. See what, uh, see what happens. I was going to say, he might want to keep working on it. Oh, you see him stretching on that in the ring? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Aaron. oh no. That's not good. He doesn't, he doesn't want this match, but for maybe his championship match, this could have some lingering effect. Oh, it looked like he was going to go for the sleeper. Oh, uh -oh. Suzuki catches the leg. Oh, my goodness. I thought, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Going after the leg, drops him down, stomps on the back of his head. What's this? And he's got him in a sleeper. Holy shoot. Is Osprey going to give up? Oh my lord! He's got an in deep too, MT. He does. Osprey's gonna get out of it though. Holy smokes! That Ooh. was not good. That was close. Oh lord, he's going for the cover. One, two, three! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Suzuki wins! Holy smokes! That was crazy! What in the hell just happened? Suzuki has pinned Will Ospreay! In a crazy turn of events, what happened to Suzuki has now happened to Will Ospreay! Insane earn! He had two almost near falls, and then Suzuki came roaring back and upset Will Ospreay. Dunk says the king kills when he pleases. Suzuki. <laughs> oh my god, he does. He really does. This is crazy. Oh my lord. Osprey is just on the floor. He can't believe it. Oh my god, and now the, the UA is coming into the ring earn and they are just beating on Suzuki. No, I don't blame them. Oh my goodness. This is, they are just whooping on him. Oh my lord. Oh, here comes Goshiyazaki, Earn. Here comes Goshiyazaki. Okay, here we go. Holy smokes! They're he's evening up the playing field a little bit, but now they're they, it's still three. It's four men to two, Earn. This isn't good. This isn't good. Are you seeing this? Yes. This is what happens when you beat Will Osprey. This, this is, is what happens. Oh my God. <laughs> Osprey says, "I don't care if you won in a non-title match. This doesn't mean shit to me." I'm still gonna whoop that ass. Oh no, and he hit Suzuki right in the face with a hidden blade. Ooh, oh my yeah. god. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh my god, and now Shiozaki is alone in the ring with all oh. of them. Oh Get my god. Out here. Get somebody out here. And he hits Shiozaki in the head with a hidden blade too. Oh my god. What is he saying to him now? He's saying next week you get him, and he's pointing to Walter. Oh lord. So next week, Go Shiozaki will be having a match against Walter. Interesting. Interesting. The only thing I can tell you about that match is that somebody's going to get chopped. <laughs> that is true. Holy smoke, guys. What a way to go off the air. Did not see that coming. Everybody that voted for Suzuki to win, congratulations. You got some points. Uh, yeah, this was a spectacular way to go off air. Uh, I will be back streaming again Saturday during the day. Uh, Cuphead just released some DLC, so I'll be playing a little bit of the DLC. And then later on at night, Money in the Bank, I'll be doing a watch along with Diamond Dave, uh, Get the Tables, and Dope. And Saturday we'll be doing the uh, Budget Cut Podcast. So we got a bunch of stuff coming all over the weekend. Earn, is there anything you wanted to, uh, to hype up on your side? Um, no, no, I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm good for today. All right.
guys. I'm gonna send a raid over to uh, to Dave. So you guys go ahead and click the follow button over there if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Have a good fight and a good night. Peace. Peace.